All right, guys, today I'm going to show you again how the Premier League connects with the NFL, why they're both called football. So Tottenham played today, went top of the league. They now have 23 points after nine games. 23 is the ninth prime. 239 is the 52nd prime. The 49ers played today and they lost. They're now 5 and 2. The team that is 5 and 2 all time in Super Bowls. Just all completely synced up, guys. I'll show you why Vikings are now 3 and 4, which is the ninth Fibonacci number. Tottenham, top of the league after nine games. Now, if we head over to my Twitter, I'll show you how both games connected to Pele. Today would have been Pele's 83rd birthday. Okay, 83 is the 23rd prime, 23 is the 9th prime. And, of course, Tottenham, 23 points after 9 games. Now, check this out. Number 8 and number 3 combined for a Vikings touchdown on Pele's 83rd birthday. 83, the 23rd prime, the Vikings touchdown came after 49ers number 23 fumbled the ball. He would later go on to score two touchdowns. McCaffrey. Tom Brady supports the 49ers and he was born on 8-3 and he played 23 seasons in the NFL. I'm almost done with writing my book about Brady. It's going to just wake up so many people. So, Vikings took a 10-0 lead. James Madison, number 10 for Spurs today, scored. All right, he had a big game for Tottenham. So, he scored. Madison, and in the NFL game, the best player today was the Vikings number three. Okay? His name is Addison. Addison. Madison. I said that both of these games would be completely synced up. They truly were, guys. So if you look here, Vikings got seven points here in the first, and then they went up 10-0 after getting a field goal, three points in the second. Seven and three. Tom Brady retired seven and three in Super Bowls after playing 10 Super Bowls. Okay? Supports the 49ers. He was born just outside of San Francisco. Jay over here, who's on my website, a few days ago on the website, he called the Vikings to win. A lot of people on my website like the Vikings. I was shocked. There was numbers for both. I was shocked. Um, but the codes for the Vikings were remarkable. All the in-play stuff was for them. So then we had this. Number 10 and number 7 scored for Tottenham today. And the 49ers game became 10-7. Became 10-7. And then there was a ridiculous touchdown late in the second half. I'll tell you why it went 16-7. But Israel was attacked on 10-7. That's why I knew that both of these games would be connected to 107. Why I predicted that number 10 Madison would score and number 7 Son would score. Son, Madison. Okay, Addison. Jesus Christ, the Son of God is coming back. Then later in the game, number eight threw to number three again for another touchdown after number 23 scored a touchdown for the 49ers. Became a nine-point game. And Spurs played in the ninth game of the season in the league. 83, the 23rd prime. Spurs advanced to 23 points after nine games. 23 is the ninth prime. Now, this is the main thing that I want to show you. Right here. Vikings needed one yard in four plays to get a touchdown, and they weren't able to do it. And the reason they weren't able to gain a yard was because they had to hit a field goal, because these players are not in control. Elite athletes playing in the NFL should be able to gain one yard in four plays, guys. Now, the halftime score was 16-7 to the Vikings. 1-6-7 is the 39th prime number. They then took a 19-7 lead. 19-7, 197, the 45th prime. Wow. So you've got 
16 7, 167 the 39th prime, 19 7, 197 the 45th prime, World War II was from 39 to 45. I'm telling you guys, World War III is on its way. That's why, that is why they went from 16 7 to 19 7. A three point field goal, World War III. I said two years ago, World War III is going to be triggered in 2023. Called it. I even predicted Super Bowl 56 would finish 2023 before the game began. And who got the opening touchdown in Super Bowl 56? Number three, Oldo Beckham Jr. I called that as well. Look at this, three retweets. Just... Staggering, the Vikings got their third win of the season. They stayed on three home losses. I am blown away. All right, and then this came up, which I saw after, after my post. Goosebumps, look what is trending. 49ers at Vikings. And what's below it? World War Three. I got goosebumps. And then we have this image of Vikings number 18. 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. And he's doing the 666. All the stuff I've been showing you day after day, energy after energy that I've been giving you all for you still, for still so many people to dismiss it and ignore it. Well, you won't ignore it when World War Three happens and there's people dying around you. All right? From the war, from famine. You're not going to be dismissing this stuff at all. 49ers at Vikings, I'm doing in play that it's all connected to World War Three, and then below it, trending World War Three. about 20 minutes after I've been doing all this in play code. I've shown you here and I've shown you over and over and over and over again that the Premier League connects to the NFL. All right? Showing you over and over and over again, all right, for close to three years, guys, for close to three years, and still, people don't want to accept it, look, Vikings, third win of the season, they stayed on three home losses, they've now got 151 points, the 36 prime, Son opened the scoring for Tottenham after 36 minutes, the Chiefs and the Eagles both won 31-17 on the same day, exactly 36 weeks after they played each other at Super Bowl 57. Now, what are you going to say about all of this? Well, I'll end it with this. The game finished 22-17. And you add up those numbers, you get 39. Fasten your seatbelts, guys, and pray a lot, because World War III is coming, and shortly after, so is Jesus Christ. Woo! God wins.